Hi, Paddy C here and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of a virtual instrument that I've been working on in Halion 6. Now the video is aimed at anybody that's new to Halion and particularly any of you thinking about having a go at designing your own virtual instrument. So I've based it around a Casio MT65 home keyboard that came out in the early 1980s. It had drums and auto accompaniments and 20 preset instrument tones. Eight of these were sustained tones and I sampled those and imported them into Halion 6. Now I was keen to keep the bright colourful home organ feel to the instrument so I took the colours from the MT65 and used a bit of freeware called Skin Man to design the background. Look out for a follow-up video on this. Inside Halion itself we have the macro page designer and this is where we create our own virtual instruments. The background's already in there and now we have a choice of knobs, dials and switches that Halion provides. You've also got the choice of using an external package to design your own dials and switches uh, as I've done here. This is a bit of freeware called Knobman. Again, watch out for a follow-up video. Okay, let's take a tour of the instrument. Down the bottom, we've got basic volume control. And then pan left and right, we've got our tuning. So octave down, octave up. And we've then got minus 12, plus 12 semitones. Gives you a two octave up or down range. And then above that, there's just a fine tune. If you click or oh, control click, you can reset an item. So down at the bottom middle, we've got our preset tones. Now if looking up at the top right you can see here that I've just used a single C3 sample of each of the instruments and then mapped it across the whole of the keyboard. So the blue section, the middle section, we've got an ADSR, envelope, attack decay, sustain release. And then moving across we have our key track. Now I found that some of the bass tones were um, a bit too dominant and they drowned out the top end of the keyboard. So um, using this key track control and, and a control that I designed in Knobman, you can change the relative volume, the balance across the keyboard so you can emphasize the top, the middle or the bass end. Above that we've got a basic velocity switch. So you can have the constant velocity like you'd find on an organ, or we can have the linear full response. Moving across again we have the EQ setting and this one is just a basic high and low end cut. Above that is this orange strip, which is the uh, the main effects. Now Halion comes with a good range of effects and a lot of control over the parameters as well. But with my particular instrument, I had to keep it simple, so I just chose an on-off switch and a knob to vary the reverb time. Next. 
next to the reverb we've got a delay and again we've just got a straight on off switch and a control for the delay time. Our next feature is the unison and this comes with four main parameters voice, detune, pan and delay. Uh, I decided to control the detune on this Pitch drift next, and this allows a random element of drift to each note, but it's quite an extreme setting. So I used some scripting to change the range from just 0 to 2, which is a lot more useful. Now, I didn't fancy using a standard synth filter on this instrument because I didn't think it was appropriate for a home organ. But in Halion, we have a vocal effect called Talkbox. And this uses resident filters to simulate the A, E, I, O, U kind of sounds that we make with our mouth. And what this does is adds a really nice vocal quality to all our sounds. Over to the left, we have our rotary organ effects. And the first thing we can activate is the cab simulator. And then if you want a bit of distortion, we've got the drive. And then rotary down. Distortion on. And the other effect that's quite common on drawbar organs is the vibrato effect. And this is actually six presets, three vibrato and three chorus. Okay, let's have a listen to a couple of patches. Okay, so although this is a fairly simple instrument, it's been possible to create quite a range of good, um, varied sounds uh, just using a few of the effects and controls within Halion. But when it comes to designing your own instrument, it's important to have a clear idea of just what you're wanting to create. Because within Halion, there are so many options, it's easy to get confused and um, end up in a blind alley. 
So if you want to see how I actually put this instrument together, check out my macro page designer video, which will, be to, which will follow. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.